Well, it's now Saturday morning. What time is it? About 10 o'clock, I think. Boy, she's gonna be a cooker today. I think it's about 21 degrees already, so probably gonna get up to the 27, 28 degrees range here. Oh, well, look at these chickens coming here. You better watch. Gangs of wild chickens that control most of the rural farms here in Alberta. Hope I don't get shanked. Better get these guys fed. Morning, girls. Hey, June. Ready for breakfast? <laughs> breakfast time. What's in there, Charlotte? Is that breakfast for the single mamas? So today I got a lot of stuff on the go, but I don't really have a list. So today <laughs> it might be a little bit chaotic as I bounce back and forth between things that I see. You know, I got this little game I call I Spy, another thing to do on the farm. But one thing that's been really bugging me for a while, look at these two chicken houses. The first little one just keeps sinking lower and lower and lower. The back end of the skid is actually underneath an, uh, an old trench where we dug the water line. And so it keeps sinking in. So I think later today, when Charlotte goes for a nap, I know I got to fix up some of the driveway, but when that's done, probably bring the tractor over and just level this shed. Oh, we just got these layer chicks. Oh, there's jittery. Just got these guys some feed and some new water. They're pretty happy with that. Their water was getting low and they were walking in the dirt and then walking in the water, getting it all muddy and gross. So switched it out. Now they're happy as can be. Well, some good news. Just got the driveway leveled off. It was just hard enough that you could drive on it, pack it, and it wasn't going to make a bunch of ruts, but it was just soft enough that you could still kind of level things out and work with it. It was a bit malleable, so that's done. Now it's on to move, uh, or sorry, not move, but uh, level that chicken house. One thing to note too, we actually have a severe weather watch in effect uh, for the day. We're supposed to get quite a big thunderstorm roll through here uh, midday to early afternoon, so we'll see. Hopefully we don't have to batten down the hatches too tightly. So there you have it. It only took two years to get that thing leveled out, but it actually looks kind of half straight now. We'll see how much it sinks if we get the next rainfall, but fingers crossed it stays where it's supposed to be. Well, here we are. It's just after one o'clock. It's starting to rain as predicted. So I'm gonna get the trucks all moved over onto the parking pad again over there and off the grass because we don't want to have a big mucky mess like we just had. So, so I guess while the rain pours, I'm gonna go inside and get a bite of lunch. Maybe wash some eggs. That'll make for a good afternoon. Hey, you know what today is? June 21st. Yep, the longest day of the year. Sun came up quarter after five this morning. It's gonna go down at about uh, 20 to 11 tonight. So I'm just over here by the single mamas. They're over there. And we're looking at fencing this section here in behind the shop. Some of it, as you can see, it's been seeded, but it hasn't grown in yet. Um, we just want to have a little bit more options for rotational grazing up here. So just got my string line out and uh, I'm going to start taking some measurements here. Oh, there's mosquitoes everywhere. And then uh, probably tomorrow, if, this, if it's nice enough weather, might actually get to pounding some posts. I can see Carmen on her way home here from work. It's just, uh, just after 7.30. I wonder if I should surprise her and just tell her that we're going to pound these posts tonight. See how she feels about that. I'll probably get told to something off. Well, there's only one thing left to do on the longest day of the year after a hard day's work. We're going to build a campfire. Well, I hope you have a fantastic night. We'll see you tomorrow.